clap, take one. Hey Unified Generation, my name is Oisa. I'm Olivia. We are sophomores at Buffalo High School. On today's episode of Unified Touch, we are going to talk about teamwork and how groups work together towards big events like the Special Olympics USA Games. Before we dive in, take a second to pause and subscribe to the Generation U Unified YouTube channel, then come back to us. We'll wait for you. Last episode, uh, Aubrey and Elise explained teamwork and collaboration. I watched that episode. Collaboration is a key part of teamwork. For sure, it's when people in a group share their ideas and skills in order to achieve a common goal. Sometimes, multiple teams need to work together to achieve a goal. Especially when it's something that is a big deal, like the Special Olympic USA Games, where teams from all over the country come in to compete. It's a huge event that takes a lot of work to make happen behind the scenes. Teamwork is not just between the players on the field. That's right. Though they have to communicate, practice, and work hard, teams off the field have to do the same thing. So what we're saying is anyone can be part of a team, even if they don't play a sport. Absolutely! Lisa, do you think Bison Connection is a team? Yes, the club may not run up and down a field, but we work together to put on inclusive events for our school. Others work with Bison Connection to help us reach our goals too. 100% our teachers, administrators, other clubs and sports teams support us and we support them. Exactly! They work with us to make sure Buffalo High School is welcoming and inclusive. They help us find locations to hold our Bison Connection events and give us strategies on how to get the word out. Olivia and I are also part of the special Olympics Minnesota Student Board of Directors. This is a team made up of inclusive students throughout the state and we share their ideas and collaborate towards the common goal of making our school places of its substance and respect. Without the help of other teams, our team wouldn't be able to do what we do. So how is this like the Special Olympics USA Games? Great question! Just like how our separate clubs, teachers, and administrators work together to create inclusive opportunities at our school, USA Games is made up of a bunch of smaller teams that work together to create a huge event. Tell me more! Volunteers, coaches, trainers, local businesses, and many more groups all work together to make the USA Games possible. Without them, it wouldn't be possible to have such an event. Oh, coaches like Coach Gonzalez of Columbus Unified. He helped his team get to the 2018 Special Olympics US Game Championship. Then there are the officials who make sure the rules are followed and the players are safe. Off the field, there are photographers who take awesome actions, shot up players, and health professionals who make sure everyone stays healthy. And we can't forget the teams of people working to plan meals, travel, and lodging for incoming athletes. They make sure everyone is taken care of before they even arrive. All of these groups work together to make sure Special Olympics games run smoothly. So you can see, there are a lot of ways people can work with a team to support a larger cause. And it all started with recognizing your passions and strengths. As part of the unified generation, we, we want everyone to feel welcome in Special Olympics. There are so many teams within Special Olympics that you can join. It's not just about sports teams, but so many others. So if you have a passion for inclusion, there's a place for you. Yes, think about what, what you enjoy doing. For example, what made you happy and what do you do in your free time? If you like to teach and work with others, look into coaching. You could ask to shadow a coach at a future practice. If you're creative, think about taking pictures or at sporting events or create a social media post to spread inclusion. You can even start in a course of photography or journalism club. If you feel good supporting others, become a fan in the stands. You can go to school games and cheer on athletes, invite others to join so the crowd is loud and proud. 
you can take awesome actions, look at your own school, and see how you can get involved. Ask coaches, club members, or even teachers to help you get started. You can get the involved at the community level too. Try reaching out to your local state Special Olympics programs like we have with Special Olympics Minnesota. Teams are more than just those on the field. Is anyone working with a group of people with similar passions to reach a goal or spread a cause? Check out www.generationunified.org and specialolympics.org to learn more about how you can join the Special Olympics team and learn about the opportunities in your community. Follow us on Instagram at at SO North America and on TikTok at Unified Generation. See you later, Unified Generation. Bye! Bye. Bye.